Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muhammad Asim. I am working as DevOps engineer. Guys, in this video, we are going to set up the Prometheus on Kubernetes and I'm going to show you some of the tests. Let's begin. So what I have done, I've spin up the EKS cluster on AWS and this is version 1.23, right? What uh, I have done um, in my past video, I've already showed you guys how to import this cluster in um, lens and i've already done that so once you imported your cluster you can click on that you see the status of the cluster because the prometheus is not installed one of the tests you can do with your existing cluster um, in fact you might have installed the prometheus uh, community community edition right but one thing um, as a litmus test you can um, do that you can check that the prometheus is properly configured by simply importing your existing cluster might be in dev right and you can do that so you might see this sort of screen and if you click this uh, open cluster setting you might need to provide these settings right by default it is set to auto detect and if you set these setting might be you need to provide these uh, you know urls and whatever you need to uh, set up you can do that but if it is uh, not detected um, by this lens so what i found that the prometheus uh, usually not uh, configured properly as per my observation this is not a hard pass tool but what i observed uh, observed uh, with the prometheus community edition might be because of the compatibility uh, issues so what we are going to do here um, we are going to install the bitnami prometheus and i'm going to uh, install uh, the Prometheus with Lens, right? So what I'm what I'm going to do, first of all, navigate to this namespaces, create a namespace. Definitely, you can set up all this with the uh, CLI as well, uh, kubectl. So we are doing a little bit different here. We are going to set up one namespace monitoring, and in that particular namespace, we are going to install one Helm chart and um, Currently, if you see the releases in all namespaces, this is a fresh cluster I've spin up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to type here Prometheus, right? So it provides us this the latest version provided by Bitnami. So I'm going to click that, right? And uh, I'm going to install it, right? So let me click that. And we are going to install in namespace, which we have created monitoring. So I'm going to select the monitoring namespace. This is the version you can select a uh, different version according to your requirement uh, and what i'm going to do um, i'm going to use a specific setting because later uh, in my next videos i'm going to show you how we can um, use slack with this uh, we are going to use the alert manager right so but that would be the later part so currently we just want to see our cluster with you know uh, with one look how it behaves so that's why we, we are setting it up so i'm going to use this configuration and let's try to install it and uh, as you see the installation process of helm chart is begin from the lens ui console uh, you can do similar stuff um, by using the helm chart uh, i mean helm cli so let it install and once uh, it install you will see um, some of the stuff for instance if i navigate to the workloads in the part section right uh, you see in all namespaces i'm going to select the specific namespace monitoring so um, the installation process is actually in uh, installation phase so if everything goes well uh, what we will see that uh, we should be able to see our um, helm chart so uh, i'm going to close this stuff you see the pores are uh, available but it is in you know yellow state once uh, those once these cells uh, turn into green we uh, should be able to see some of the stuff in that section which we are unable to see so if i navigate to this section helm releases you will see that uh, this release the latest version with specific setting of uh, and the values.yml which we have provided is actually um, set up but uh, we need to check if every port uh, sh should be you know in running in green status then uh, we are going to see 
and the status in that particular area. So we then uh, should be able to see the matrix. You see, it now comes up. So um, you see the memory, CPU utilization, powers, and if you see nodes, uh, how many nodes you have? It, I have only one node, but you can easily see the CPU uh, memory and disk utilization with this uh, installation of Prometheus. So uh, that is a very powerful tool to monitor. And uh, in my next videos, I'm going to show you how we can set up the Grafana, and we are going to use all the dashboards from the uh, Prometheus uh, Community Edition of Grafana. So that is it, guys. If you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. But this is a very powerful tool to see um, one look eye of your cluster, and uh, even if you navigate to this port section, uh, click on these ports, right? And uh, in the memory section, you will see. Uh, how much memory is utilization, uh, I mean, utilized by your pod. So, and other thing you have, you know, uh, CLI as well, uh, and other tools are available. Thank you very much. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and have a nice day.